This is just so much bad. Ah! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! 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 Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, the, the Horror Bandwagon. My name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for heart analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another movie night reaction. Today, we are going to be watching 2016's The Autopsy of Jane Doe. That's correct. I feel like you have to say that title in the deepest, scariest voice you can possibly make. You mean so it doesn't work if I'm like, The Autopsy of Jane Doe? <laughs> the Autopsy of Jane Doe. <laughs> <laughs> But for real, we posted a poll on our community tab asking you guys what movie we should watch next. And the winner was The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Yeah, and don't think we didn't notice all of y'all's comments about, oh, this one's gonna be really scary. Cody's gonna need all of his wine. Setting <laughs> prayers to Cody's uh, mental stability. <laughs> but with all of that being said, I'm super excited. It seems like it's a really good movie. It's a lot of people's favorite, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not trying to hype it up too much. I'm keeping myself centered. I know for a fact that Emil Hirsch who's a cutie, is in this movie, but also the legendary Brian Cox, Ooh. who you know where he's from. Don't put me on the spot like this. <laughs> <laughs> he plays Logan Roy in Succession. Oh, yes. Yes. But before we get into this movie, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon. And don't forget to join our Discord where you can talk to us about this movie and anything else that's on your mind. The link is going to be in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into it. What is this supposed to be? Is, is it grass? Oh, it's grass. I thought it was just like an edgy background. <laughs> I just feel like this is gonna scare the shit out of me. <laughs> it's way too quiet. <gasps> All right, I see how this is gonna be. Enough. We're already like two minutes in. <gasps> oh shit. That looked like somebody stabbed the fuck out of her on her neck. Oh, they're starting this movie very grim. Oh shit. Who's she? Well, for now, she's a Jane Doe. <gasps> I am curious. Sort of the like, title. Sort of the title. <laughs> I wonder why we use the names John Doe and Jane Doe for anonymous victims. Doesn't look like someone broke in. To me, it looks like they were trying to break out. But it's an unfinished basement. I did see a truck outside that had like a developer or a contractor's name on the side. So I feel like this house was like being renovated and maybe somebody buried the body in the basement. Well, they have no relation to, like this body has no relation to who's living in the house. Yeah. So well, my instant thought was that they dug, like they found this body in here. Well, that's what I'm saying. No, I don't think anyone is living in the house. My current theory is that- Oh, those, we already have theories? Like yes, off the first three yes. minutes? My current theory is that those people in the house were like being shown the house by a realtor. Oh. Your natural glory home. Oh, of course. At the morgue that's on Grinder. Mm -hmm. Hosting Glory Cole at the morgue, y'all. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. I was about to get into it, but they, it got it got gory. Uh. Holy shit, they're just like Gordon Ramsay in, like sauteing this shit. Yeah. 
Wow. We've seen a lot of dead bodies off the bat with this movie. Mm -hmm. there. Lungs are damaged, but airway is not denuded nearly enough. So he stopped breathing before that fire really got going. I give anybody who has this profession so much credit, but also you're like playing detective a little bit, mm -hmm. like with everything that you're doing. Yeah. Are you all right finishing up? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, uh, no, can I go home? Hematoma. That's not the proper way to remove gloves, just so everybody knows. <laughs> They're pretty much at their house. Could you imagine living above... A morgue? A morgue. I, I don't. You know, my biggest question is, I wonder what, how the smell is like. I wonder if you just like invest in a lot of candles. Well, I imagine that the bodies are embalmed probably fairly early. So they're not likely to be in a huge state of decay, but they're in whatever state they're in when they arrive. And this is a disclaimer. We know nothing about this profession. We don't. We, we don't. Know nothing. So we're just kind of basing it off what we see. Please let it be a rat. Oh, sorta. <laughs> I would keep it on. <gasps> ah! Jesus Christ. That's it. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. You would 100% do this to me. I would, but I'm still scared by it. <laughs> I've been down here all day. You got to see me at my job. Why can I see you at yours? You work at a bookstore. <laughs> Damn, shading. Books are clerks. Can I see one? Well, no, no, you cannot see one. I don't think that's appropriate. A good judgment on that. Okay. Come on, I can handle it. No, no. And my dad, he's way too strict. Try me. <gasps> oh, sorry. That try me like rang into my ear holes. I was like, <laughs> oh, are you serious? Are you? Hell yeah. Pick one. And one of them has a briefcase of $100,000. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> Irene Daniels. I forgot what it said underneath. It looked like it said malignant mesothelioma. <gasps> a body's a body. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that one. Oh, she's, she's into it. She's like, yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Is his head caved in? <gasps> oh my God, that's like a cup holder. I know, we're gonna move on. Make sure he's dead. There used to be a time it was hard to tell a comatose person from a dead one. Oh no. <gasps> Imagine hearing that ringing. Oh my God. Why do you cover his face? There wasn't much of a face left to cover. Point blank. A <laughs> roasted. He was already dead by the time somebody blew his face off. Why would anyone do that? Oh, you sound like your boyfriend. To make it look like a when they murdered him. No less. Girl. No, that's not sanitary. Morbid curiosity. I want to see that. It's all right. <laughs> Dad. Although he should not be drinking in here. That should not be happening. Uh-uh, not cool. They, he does that to all his girlfriends. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just see the look on your face. I can't wait to see the look on your face. I'm not getting late. Wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Not even if I- She said what she said. Dad, if you need me to stay- Oh, don't worry about it. You two go have your fun. Oh, that's so sweet. This isn't my life. I don't want to be Austin Tilden, the morgue worker. He needs my help right now. Come on, it's been two years. So he's planning to leave with her, maybe move in, in together. But I think he was staying because his mom passed away. No one has a clue who she is. I don't suppose you know how she wound up, man. Stanley. Uh-uh, Stanley is trying to warn you. Mm -mm. Place, my best bet, he killed our Jane Doe. Needed a place to dump the body. Didn't count the Douglas's been home. Okay. Okay, okay. I got four people dead and no goddamn clue how any of it connects. Nobody's pissing in your grits here, Shell. 
I've never heard that. No one's pissing your grits here. Time for it? It's gotta be tonight. Okay. Oh, wow. They're gonna pull an all-nighter trying to figure this shit out. Number one rule for us is that if your pets or babies or kids are seeing things, believe them. <laughs> Gray? Gray? Huh. Whoa, that's like completely clear. Mm -hmm. No lividity. No rigor mortis either. Rigor mortis, girl. It was rigor mortis, girl. Mor who's Morris? Rigor mortis. The ambient temperature. What conditions at the scene? Could be confounding factors. I do not like her eyes open. It could be congenital. We won't know until we open her up. Mark it down on the board. We'll come back to it later. Close her eyes. Close her eyes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh. oh. Broken, broken leg. Okay. How do you break your wrists and ankles without any outward signs? Mm, I see it all the time. Simple fractures. Uh, simple? Meaning like no bruising. Is it dirt? No, no, this is denser. This is peat. I haven't seen this stuff in ages. What's that? Peat is like a, it's a kind of earth that's usually like thicker, like clay. It's very smelly, I think. Excuse me? Tongue has been severed. <gasps> Crudely, non surgically. Stop it. Striations. <gasps> What's that mean, striations? It's like marks left when you cut something. <gasps> cut out the tongues. I'm making too much noise. I think this was some kind of a prostitution thing. It's like torture. No. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh, oh no. <gasps> okay, just a fly. Just a fly. I thought we were gonna see like a like a little sludge with many legs. Yeah, she has a molar missing on the lower left side. Take some impressions. We're gonna need to really pay attention to like every detail that's happening here. Yeah. What in the fucking world is that? It's definitely some kind of fabric. Bag. Send it to the lab. I thought it was like part of rope. It does look like a thread. Yeah. Of course. Bring on the thunder. But the radio earlier said clear weather for the next couple days. So what the fuck is this? Grooves in the tissue. Abrasions. Yeah. Cuts. Cuts. Deliberate. That's like the worst part about this right now is because you're just imagining what happened, you know? Yeah. Barely out of the external. We got a ways to go. And both actors are doing a good job at like not being affected by it because yeah. it wouldn't it wouldn't really because it's their their job right mm -hmm. i mean i'm sure still people like still feel stuff but not like us we're like ah! <laughs> oh you know they're going to lose power <laughs> <gasps> That's it, I'm out of here. We are not about to get supernatural here up in this shit. I'm so afraid to see what's inside here. I don't even know if I, we can show any of this on YouTube. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Okay, well, they got a little drain there. I would have thought that all the blood would have been like clotted. I've seen it. 
I think a fresh corpse. I feel like he's wiping, trying to find excuses for all of this stuff happening. Yeah. What is that? Melanoma, maybe. On the inside. Possible. Oh my God. I shouldn't be surprised that a, a movie that's called Autopsy of Jane Doe is gory as fuck. Like this is medically gory. Maybe we can get away with that on YouTube. Like this is all for, for education. It's dripping blood. Oh. Today. All right, guys, we're gonna need to be a little bit more on alert here. But how is there that much? What did you do? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is going on? Damn, this is so brutal. Oh. <gasps> Jesus, damn. Lungs severely blackened. Oh my God. It's smoke. 10 packs a day for 30 years. Let me explain this. That's chunky. It's like finding a, a bullet in the brain, but with no gunshot wound. That's a very good way to put it. I understand. Uh, not just her heart. Uh, what do you think that is? Genetic defect? Probably scar tissue. Oh, shit. Almost like she's been stabbed. Scarred organs. What would she look like? She'd be mangled. Yeah. Disfigured beyond her. That's the creepiest thing about this is that everything is fucked up, but it's underneath the body. Mm -hmm. But she looks perfectly fine outside. Unless this is my my put it into the theory. Mm -hmm. All these markings is because they were trying to defend themselves or kill something. back there is not real stop it right now what the fuck oh no oh no we're about to see shit what happened to you i mean that's what i want to know was it like a ritual sacrifice or something Oh, what happened? What happened? Did he cut himself on a rib? Oh. Do you want to turn the light on, sir? Nope. It's okay. There you go. There must not be a switch. <laughs> oh. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm sorry, but you deserve that. Oh, oh. please tell me it's your dad. Oh. Daddy, daddy. Are you okay? It's his own Something's fault for being that curious. Like I would be like, oh, it shut off. Let me, let me go to the power source. <gasps> no. <gasps> no, not the whimpering. I can't handle it. What the fuck? No, you guys need to stop. The whimpering is getting to me. Fuck you, Jane Doe. Or whatever is the fuck is happening here. But what happened to it? I mean, part of me thinks that we're supposed to think it ran into the, like, HVAC unit or something. Oh. And, of course, they didn't look closely at it to see if there was, like, something unnatural to it. Every single time, if there's a pet in paranormal movies, the dog, the cat... Is always gonna get it. What? These doors can't just open by themselves, bro. What are you doing? The drawer. Also, not close it all the way. This kid is just known to just go up to like doors and be like, Stanley was a pain in the ass. But he was your mother's. One of the few things a person had left. Don't talk shit about Stanley. This is stage three of the autopsy of Jane Doe. 
Beginning with the stomach and the gastro. He said the actual title. Mm -hmm. You just you put up this act for people. I'm fine. I do feel like it's a weird time to be like, Dad, let's talk about your your past and inner feelings. Oh, oh. <gasps> Uh. A flower? A flower? A fucking flower? Where was that located? In in her stomach. That settles it. She's from up north. Yeah, but how'd she end up here? One thing at a time. <laughs> yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Dad, how about we just finish this in the morning? I like that idea. Leave. Oh, hey, at least I like that your instincts are right here. Mm -hmm. Like, there's something very spooky happening. <laughs> what is that? A snail? It's her tooth. Oh, oh no, 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 done, done. You you guys are fucked. You guys are fucked. There's some witchcraft, like demonic shit That's here. That's what I was saying. Like oh, the reason no. everything internal is all. Yeah, see, what is that? Roman numerals? 10, 10, 7. 10, 10, 7. Or 27. The drawing. I don't know, religious, possibly uh, ritualistic. Well, I'm thinking like, what if it was like some sort of exorcism and they were doing stuff to like help her? And the reason the body is all messed up inside is because maybe we're going to find out that she's tied up because she was possessed. The demon is like what's messing up her internal organs, why the lungs look burnt like hell, why all the other like everything is punctured or cut. I believe this. Like it's trying to get its way out. I'm in for this theory. Almost like a human sacrifice. No. I gotta tell you, that's Or a human sacrifice. <laughs> One thing's for sure. You're not going anywhere. So Mommy told me. Ooh. Ooh. And there we go, guys. It's time for me to get in bed. This has been fun. This is just so much bad. Ah. Get the incense. <laughs> so let the sun shine in. This is like the tiptoe song from Insidious. <gasps> what in the world? <laughs> I really think that this was something sealing something inside of her. Yeah, dude, there's no, there's no, there's no making sense of this now. This is like something out otherworldly happening. <gasps> if the body's awake, I swear. <gasps> what the fuck was that? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <gasps> the bodies are out. The uh, bodies are gone. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. I hate this. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah finally. And with a body just open like that, I can't. This is the worst. Get me the fuck out of here. There's not enough power. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck with the elevator right now. Take, Take the, the stairs. stairs. Take the stairs, bro. What the fuck is happening? He's stuck. Help me with this. Help me with this. <clears throat> is there going to be like, like a tree fell on it or something? Fuck. The office. The oh my 
god, they have to go back into it. I can't. I don't even know how long that generator is gonna last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock yourself in there, guys. Yeah. Lock yourself in there. Oh, this is Tommy Tilden. It's an emergency. We need help. Sorry. Put Burke on the line. Oh God. I think they're doomed. I think they're doomed. Fuck no. And fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you as well. Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Oh. Is that like in the closet or is that outside? Oh. Uh -huh. They're zombies, they're fucking zombies. Walking Dead People was not on my bingo card for this movie. Uh -uh. Sam, until we cut into her, you're talking about a corpse. I don't know. I think there's a lot of evidence here that. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's from the. Uh... You think he's cursed now? What is that? Oh. We should have left. I wanted to leave. Oh, it's a little late now, bro. <gasps> oh, thank God. Shit. <gasps> what? Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? Oh. Oh, oh no. Get me out of here. <laughs> Get me out of here. I thought I saw like an eye skull kind of thing. <gasps> oh, God. Oh. Well, that's probably the impact oh, from like being hit, right? Oh, shit. I don't know. That sounds like a threat to me. That's like a sign. Rapid decomp. Everything we took out of her. It's almost like her body was preserving it. Let's get it to the crematorium. Oh, they're gonna. Sh yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's see how that goes. <gasps> I don't fucking like that. <laughs> oh my fucking god! It's it's the woman. It's yeah. the woman body. That is fucking gnarly. Okay, yeah, just set fire to a place that you're in. Honestly? And But I would try to figure out an exit first. But what if they're also burning the only thing that they could have trapped the demon back into? Oh, oh she's fighting back. And it just took out all the evidence. She is putting out the fire herself. Yeah. And also the body is unharmed. Yep. No fucking marking of being burnt. Girl, drop the skin routine. Let's go. The elevator. Is it going to be the girlfriend? Or the cop? Oh, no. Fuck. I thought they had a flashlight at some point. Oh, fuck no. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> shit, I did not want to be in this room alone with the walking bodies. I have this horrible feeling like it's gonna come running at us. Yeah, I can barely see it though. Yep, yep, I see it. Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, 
Fuck, man! Oh! Oh no, it's gonna be the girlfriend! <gasps> no! Oh my god! Oh no! No! It fucking tricked them! Yeah! It fucking tricked them! Oh no! No! Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. This moment reminds me so much of another moment in a, another horror movie. If you'll know, you know. But this is like a pattern. What if this is the same way that how the beginning happened? Like the yeah. beginning people happened. It tricks them into killing each other. Oh, shit. No, but I don't want to end this movie without getting some like solid answers. Some solid answers. Oh. I told her to come back for me. No, don't blame yourself. About your mom. You know why I used to call her Ray? Ray of sunshine. Like the fucking song? Let the sun... Where it was like, oh. let the sun shine inside you? Oh, shit. If I didn't know her, I would have helped her. You know that, don't you? Oh, she was always so bright. Oh, did she... I think she unalived herself. I'm loving that we can still get a little bit more backstory and it doesn't feel forced. Like, yeah. this is a very emotional moment that, of course, they would want to, like, trauma bond a little bit. What are you opening that for, girl? Or is this supposed to be, like, recreating hell? Fire and Ooh. smoke everywhere. <laughs> Behind you. Yeah, yeah. Can, you, can you guys hold hands, please? Yeah. Treat it like kindergarten. Austin. Oh, shit. Ah! What happened? What happened? Okay, come on, reach out, reach out, reach out. <gasps> no. No. <gasps> Stop. I think this is like the body seeking revenge. Yeah. This movie is nuts. Oh. Oh, I feel that. I feel that in my head. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we couldn't find cause of death. She's still She's not alive. Woo! She's still alive. Bam! Mic drop. We lit her on fire. We took out her heart. Yeah, any form of realism is gone here, guys. We need to find something else. Get the crucifixes out. What's that mean? If he folded, uh, did he say Leviticus? He said Levit Leviticus, yeah. Who consults the spirits of the dead shall be put to death, for they are. Abomination. Northeast. She's a witch from Salem. New England. Oh, okay. We were kind of on track with witchery. So Jane Doe is a witch. Mm -hmm. Fits. It Sisters. fits. He's like, it fits. As if like this happens every day. Like that tracks, that tracks. Yeah. <laughs> Up in hysteria, one pointing to the next, who pointed to the next. But they were all, all innocent. Except this girl apparently. Everything they did to her, everything we've done to her, she can feel it. <gasps> Oh my God. To feel it. To. 
Does he have markings? It looks like it. By the Douglases. Why anybody? We were on a path, that's all. We were just stops along the way. So she's just been passed along to like victim per victim per victim, yeah. just seeking her revenge against everybody. Honestly, iconic behavior. Please don't hurt him. Let me help you. What does that mean though? I think that this is also supposed to be like a metaphor for his wife. She's his wife suffered in silence for decades. She had depression. She ultimately oh. ended her own life. Does he need this, to sacrifice himself? Maybe, but because she is suffering and she can't say it. She can't tell anybody. Nobody knows. Oh, oh. oh, no. oh, oh, oh. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's happening? What's happening? His wrists are gonna break. No, 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 don't do that to us. Please, please. No! Fuck! Oh no! God! Oh no! Oh, this is brutal. Uh -huh. The foggy eyes. This is what she did to the other family. He needs to do what he did to Stanley. Put him out of this misery. Oh! Because she was transferring everything over to him. So if he died, she could die. <laughs> he knew, like he knew he had to do this. How are you going to explain this, though? I have no clue. Get open up now. Get open up. No, I'm trying. It's stuck. Yeah, what's happening? There's a final scare coming. I can feel it. Open up your heart and let the sun. Ah! So many chills. What I think they're insinuating is that the son killed the dad and then killed himself. Yeah. What the hell happened here? I don't know. You're you're gonna have to solve this on your own, buddy. Oh my God. Uh, hey, yes, that's a promise. And you know what Hebrews chapter four says: the word of God is powerful. Oh, she's going on on the road. She's going on tour. Shine Shane Doe. There you go. <gasps> a little twinkle, a little. Brr, it's like, I'm like damn. speechless. That was emotional. That was an emotional roller. Coaster. It was. Um. All right, guys. So that was our reaction to uh, the autopsy of Jane Doe. The autopsy of Jane Doe. <laughs> Overall, my initial thoughts. I really liked it. I, I thought it was really good. And I, I have to praise our lead actors. I think Brian Cox and Emile Hirsch, I think they did a phenomenal job. I have to completely agree. I think that they did uh, they did a lot with anticipation and- There was a lot of suspense. And it wasn't like as much jump scares because it was all stuff that like you could feel it coming and then it just delivered. Yeah. I really appreciated the story and, and the backstory that we got from yeah. everything. I mean, I also appreciated the level of you know, in, in a movie called The Autopsy of Jane Doe, yeah. you're expecting pretty gruesome things. And we saw it. Like, we saw they flipped the skin. They, like, chopped it up. We saw everything. We mm -hmm. experienced it. And I think that was really cool of them to really go for it. I honestly feel like they could have done a little bit more with the gore. But honestly, 
I was I'm happy. okay with it where I'm, I was. I'm a gore freak, so I would have loved to just really be even more grossed out. But honestly, whatever they had in the movie was was perfection. Yeah. I think it was awesome. I think it was really compelling. The acting was great. I, I I really enjoyed this movie. I really liked the the story unfolding and just like laying it out, for, like not laying it out for us at the beginning, but eventually like having us, you know, put things together. Mm -hmm. I mean, we came up with theories at some point and I think we were pretty wrong, Yeah. but I, I like that. I like that they still gave us something new that we didn't, we didn't think of. But overall, we gotta thank you guys for suggesting this movie. I thought it was a hit. I loved it. I was creeped the fuck out still at a lot of places. Yeah, great movie. Mm -hmm. But you know what I really am interested in? What? That they, I don't know if they did or they were in the making of thinking of things, but this would, they, they have an idea for a prequel. Oh, yes. Because we started with a, a family or a lot of different people. And I feel like they could have done a prequel where they they explored that story and how it got connected how the body ended up being where it was and maybe they explained it here and there but you know i i would have li liked to see it personally i would love it if we had the prequel told the story before the house that we discovered at the beginning of this movie okay where you see like the the story is completely brand new characters we have not met before mm -hmm. and then they like bury it in the ground here and then it just cuts at the very end of the movie to the contractor like uncovering the body and being like hey you got to come down and see this be yeah. like knowing that we know what happens my that. idea would be that it would be like an ancestor of the jane doe that we know mm -hmm. and midway through the movie that lead character is the villain because she ends up putting the curse or whatever is happening over to this other family or mm -hmm. other people that connects this movie. Yeah. Something like that. But until next time, we have been your source for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.